Well, it's May 10th, 2023, um, and we're making good progress. I think we're still on track to um, take a test run uh, later in May. Uh, just a quick update. Uh, we're doing some boat stuff. Uh, you know, we put on a new winch. We put on side marker lights instead of a bow light because the bow light gets knocked off by the anchor line. Not real great. And we put in a horn. Got to have that. And uh, picked it up and weighed it a couple of days ago. Uh, we're at 1,864 pounds without the batteries on the drive. Um, bottom line on that is I think we're going to be 250 to 300 over um, the NADI guide for this, um, which is pretty much close to where I thought we'd be. So I think we're in good shape there. So I think I told you before the uh, dash is completely wired. A um, whole lot of wires going from the back of the boat to the front of the boat. Um, everything I've tested so far is good. And uh, we moved the 12 volt battery to the front. I don't know if we needed to do that or not, but it made sense. The latest thing I did back here was um, install the battery boxes. Um, that was all prepped, but uh, it still took a while to uh, get organized and get those in. There's a fair amount of debate on whether um, lithium iron phosphate cells need to be compressed or fixed in position or anything. Um, you know, in a moving vehicle, they've definitely got to be at least fixed in position or your terminals are going to loosen up. Um, I think I'm in a position to put a little bit of compression on them. Um, I've got these half inch squared tubings. I got two of these running the length of the, each side, quarter 20 rod running on the outside there two quarter 20 rods on the inside in between the batteries. Um, the compression is provided by that 1 16th aluminum and half inch PVC. Um, so I think we're going to be compressing the batteries a little bit and I think that's probably a good thing. So that's it for today guys. Um, should be giving you another update pretty soon. Batteries are going in today.